Hey people, how's everybody doing today? Anyways, I wanted to do a little update on this F14 handle, actually F14 grip. I've been using it for the past few weeks and I've been, I've been enjoying it. The thing about this is if you're going to buy a, a, a grip for the Verpal or the Thrustmaster Warthog, which this will fit on, don't buy it because, you know, it's cool looking because that's really the, that's not going to work at all. This is absolutely made for a F14 enthusiast. So the reason I'm really doing this video is before I bought it, I did a lot of research and I seen a lot of negative stuff about it. But I took a little leap of faith and I spent the money. And to my surprise, a lot of the problems that the videos that I was watching were mentioning about this were have been fixed and I haven't seen any updates to it so I figured I would do this video because I seen a lot of people giving it negative reviews or uh, not really reviews but a lot of people responding to the views saying things like thanks a lot I'm glad you got it I was just ready to buy that now I've changed my mind and a number of other ones similar to that so I'm here to change your mind back the other way because they have changed a lot. Now, one of the first things that we're gonna start right at the bottom is this will fit on the Thrustmaster Warthog or the, what was it, Cougar? It'll screw right on a fit. It's made of aluminum. It's got a nice texture to it, that little diamond pattern shape stuff down there. Anyways, one of the problems that it first had was the wire or the cable. It's the regular USB kind of looks like one of them PS things that used to be on the back of a motherboard or whatever. Anyways, it was way too long. So I've got to, I've got to agree with them on that. It's been shortened up a couple of inches. So now that's about as long as it comes out. It used to come way out there and it was getting crimped. So that has been fixed. And it's a little bit, it looks like they put a thicker handle on here. And you can just grab right onto it. What I like to use is a little thin pair of grips that I fit right in there and I pop it on, gently slide it down and make sure it slides right in. So that's been repaired. The second thing that I wish Verpal really would have taken care of is this handle. Now, one of the reviewers that was doing it was talking about how the reason he didn't like it was when he pulled it back, it had too much play in it. The thing is, is if you're going to be using this for a break or something, you pull it back till it stops. You don't have to yank it until it starts bending all over the place. But is it too long? Absolutely. It should only be about half of the height, the length rather, that it is right now. And it should only be used for your pinky. I know this everybody's probably look at that nails long I, I had cut this finger completely in half once and it's kind of like got an odd shape to it so it's not round as it used to be and it's not made of metal so that would be nice if they did correct that one thing other than that I mean it works fine it has no play in it whatsoever okay and it stops back there I mean if you grab it way up the top and yank on it can you get a little about yeah does it bend a little? Of course it does. It's made of plastic. Second problem that it had was the t these two screws with the nuts that came through. They were too long and you could literally cut yourself with it. That's been corrected. You ain't going to get hung up on these anymore. Another problem that I, right off the bat, the first thing I noticed when I got this was all these buttons that had a lot of play in it in the videos. They were like a bright red, more of a red like this. And this has actually been changed. This is kind of like a duller red. It was a very shiny red and they were wobbly. They had a ton of play. These still have a very little bit of movement, but they're about, oh, well, they really, they're flat on the top before they had a little divot and they were a lot bigger. That's been corrected, much better. The side button, the same thing. It was, just, oh my goodness, it was probably about 25% bigger than what it is now. And you could pretty much, it wobbled a lot. That's been corrected. And it has a nice click to it too. All of them do. Nice, clean click. Okay, first off, we're going to get over here to the weapon select. And this is kind of an interesting button. As I said before, this clicks and the reason you don't have to push this all the way down to when it clicks to move it 
but the reason it does clicks is because when you're up here SP and PH so it's your sparrows and Phoenix that's how you switch back and forth sparrows to Phoenix you go down one that's your sidewinders you can click that to select which ones you're going to be using on what wing or wherever it's placed on the plane guns and then off okay then you have your eight-way china hat basically on most planes they're all the same this is your pitch and trim over here this button right here is going to be used for your bomb release the trigger button is a two-way the first click is supposedly to activate a camera and that, that may be the camera on a rockets or something I'm not really sure so you get your first click and second and then you have your fire this button right here this rocker this is your maneuver button your DLC man, 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 manu, yeah, the maneuver flaps see what I'm saying this is your flaps wheel this side button right here is your DLC engage disengage and your chaps and flare the button right here in back of this little handle that is your autopilot and nose wheel steering this one right here is autopilot emergency dispense so that pretty much covers everything that this everything that is on this grip as far as the feel of it I really I like it now looking at the the this isn't an identical one for one but it's close it's close enough to if you've never really been in an F-14 which I haven't I wouldn't know what the difference was looks like it feels like it looks like a duck walks like a duck quacks like a duck it's a duck so other than this right here being way way too long probably as I had said could go to half the size everything's pretty good on it I mean don't get me wrong see I, I have shot hands so I need to use my middle finger I can't really reach it unless I reach around with my pinky like it's meant now if it was up closer over here the way it is on the F-14 the real one that might work for me but it is what it is and I can reach it all with no problem unless my hands back here and I forget to do something like if I have two fingers there and I pull it back it can get in the way a little bit with a little practice you shouldn't have a problem remembering it basically this is acts as a button so pretty much that's gonna wrap it up with this as I as I was saying the main reason I did this is to give an update on the changes that Ripple made and how far it's come from when it first came out like anything with any company practice makes perfect when they first made it yeah okay I guess they thought they could get away with just loose buttons or whatever but for the money they made their improvements they came a long ways they did their due diligence and you know I'm happy with it the F-14 is kind of a complicated plane to fly it's definitely different and if you are like I said an F-14 enthusiast I would definitely recommend going with this I think there's only one other company that makes these the I think the company that makes the gladiator anyways I'm not doing a review on them I'm doing a review on this so the Verpal, I like it I give it a thumbs up I'm very happy with the improvements that they made I like I said I took a big leap after watching all the videos and some of the bad reviews it was first getting not about how the plane reacted but the quality of the buttons and whatnot and they've corrected it so on that note we're going to be wrapping it up folks hopefully i'll be coming out with another video soon on who knows what and we'll be seeing you around anyways everybody stay safe